Ja, das ist ein Play Witch Project Shit. Ja, fuck. Das ist scaring me with the snakes hier. Hallo YouTube and welcome to another adventure. We're on Table Mountain right now. And did you know there is a zoo on Table Mountain? Oh well, there was one. Uh, let me take you on this adventure. It's a nice sunny day here in Cape Town and I might fall to my death here at the back. Uh, <laughs> uh, we found this place. I just seen some pictures on this thing uh, going on Google Maps and I didn't realize that there is, well, that there was a zoo on Table Mountain and um, I dug into it a bit more and this is what we're going to explore. I want to get some answers on what happened to this place. Um, yes, join me on the zoo on Table Mountain. Let's go. The Grotesque Zoo was a two hectare zoo situated on the foot end of Table Mountain next to the University of Cape Town. Established in 1931, it was free of charge and a very popular attraction in Cape Town until its closure between 1975 and 1985. The zoo shut down due to a combination of the financial burden that the apartheid government faced and an increase in animal welfare standards. So I've got the footest guy I know, Dave with me today. Uh, he's busy doing some camera work for me. I've actually got the cameraman, I'm moving up in the world as a YouTuber. Um, I said, Dave, I need the fittest guy I got because I'm, me and mountains don't work well. Uh, so if you need to carry me, you need to carry me down, please, Dave. So they said, okay, now cool. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, this is hectic because check here. Um, check here, Dave. Um, there's this thing that opens the door. Oh my word, yeah, later, uh, a train. This must have been like, system Yes, the pulley system goes to there. Let me you see know, if we can open it. Yeah, there was, there's obviously an animal in that thing and then they do a... Nah, I can't close it. Nah, it's not gonna work. But yeah, they've got this pulley rock thing here, going over with some pulleys. I mean, whatever animal was in here, they could open the cage that goes out to there where we done the intro thing. So, yeah, quite interesting. That's some mad shit. Uh, there's obviously been a couple of people staying in here and... Some fires have been made in here. This one's also got a similar thing also, where they open them. So, whatever it was, it was in here. I think it would have been bears or something. Um, they would have, like, sleep in here at night. Here's another one. So, there would have been one, two, three, and that other one, four, five. So, there would have been five animals here. And then this one also opens into this. So, this, this was one massive zoo. Um, I would have think, thought this would have probably been bears or something that was in here. It's a bit weird, all these doors. Yeah, there's definitely been some vagrants in here and uh, making their home here. <laughs> They've got these cages as well at the back of the structure over here. So uh, you can imagine all the animals in here. When you're visiting, you're obviously on the outside there looking in. Yeah, if you one of the older people and you've, ever, and you've been here, I don't know when this thing closed, I will obviously have it in the background. Uh, the, the future Aiden will be telling you about that um, over here uh, and explaining to you what happened over here. But yeah, um, this thing was built proper. I mean, this looks like it was, if it's still standing now, um, this thing was built properly. Um, so yeah. This, this looks like it must have been a smaller animal. If you look at the size of the door, uh. so um, if, I, if I had to guess, maybe something the size of a fox or something, like it's very small, I don't know if we would have those kind of things here. Uh. But yeah. I get you. I see a lot of lion pictures around also here. Uh, they covered the door and stuff like it with lion stuff, so uh, it's possibility. Some, some cups, some cups uh, lion cups. Uh, so th this area is at the foot end of Rhodes Memorial and it's right next to the university. Uh, so it's basically as you come in to Rhodes Memorial um, in the parking lot, just next to the parking lot uh, where you can actually have a look at this um, at this place. I don't think it's open to any any public or whatever. We jumped over kind of a wall, excuse me, <laughs> to get in here. Yes, I can jump over a wall for the people that like to make fat jokes. Uh, some urban exploring. <laughs> this is mad. 
there must have been other stuff. I mean, it can't just be this thing. If they spend so much money on this year alone, uh, there must have been other things also scattered around here that you can't actually see now because everything being overgrown. Dave, that snake was there, bro. Remember when you no, walked? No, no, no. I'm, I'm not too fond of going that way. <laughs> so where we are standing used to be the lion enclosure. This enclosure used to host between five and seven lions at any time. <laughs> this is a Malka week before for winning you. <laughs> okay, fun times, fun times. But yeah, this is the, the, the view from the front. So wh whatever was in here, you could actually explore. You could stand here. Well, they've got a fence on the other side of, the, of this thing, but you can't see it now. It's a Moorse structure. So just for context, uh, <laughs> before we went out to go and record, uh, we had absolutely zero knowledge about what was going on here. I had a picture on Google Maps showing me this thing. I just told Dave, Dave, are you available? Can I come around to come and pick you up? Dave said yes. And then we landed up here. Dave's exploring here now. So we might have to eat some long grass. No, I don't see anything crazy on this side because like you I just want to see if there's anything else there uh, you know <laughs> yeah because it doesn't make sense just having that thing there but that could have just been one of the houses that the uh, are in. this is some play witch project shit <laughs> yeah pop. Hey, this is scaring me with the snakes here so little did we know that uh, we were actually on the main attraction of the zoo um, and there was plenty more to see around here. Um, I found this picture of the plan of the, the full zoo and uh, it was quite an extensive place um, and it was nice also asking my sisters also, they've been to the zoo, they, they're a lot older than what I am and they recall being to the zoo and uh, coming around and checking this place out. So uh, yeah, if you have been to this place, um, let me know in the comments. Samalka. Okay, so there's, ah, Dave. I see some stuff down at the bottom there. Okay. Yeah, this is like a whole stairway down here. Okay, cool. Yeah, we get this, I get this, I get this. this is, and everything's done out of stone. So, I mean, this thing was now built. Eich old and eich strong, that's why it's still here. Hectic shit. My, my big question is if there was any bears here, who donated the bears and how did they get to <laughs> South Africa? You know what I'm saying? So uh, we, yeah, we would. That is a massive enclosure. Yeah, we wouldn't probably be too bears. <laughs> now, this is some Malkak. I see they got a, a pond move here and a pond move there. Um, I'm not too sure what that's about there, and maybe you stood on top of there or something. It's a bit weird. I can't make out what that would have been. Yes. Yeah, this looks like it could have been a koi pond or something. I think we found where the crocodiles were. <laughs> it would be Malkak if there was crocodiles here. We had enough water, so they could have diverted some water into this spot. Uh. Yeah, because it looks like down there is a bit deeper than everywhere else, so they might have had access down there and there might have been smaller animals on this side. Yeah, so this, yeah, and, and the road just behind there is the, is the M3 or the M3? M3. The M3, yeah. Uh, just over here. So you, you're right here next to the, um, next to the university. I've, I've, I lived my whole life here in Cape Town and I never knew that this was here. <laughs> <laughs> Never once knew that this was here. This is mad. I would love to know what these things are. I mean, if somebody knows, let me know in the comments because this is a bit weird. I mean, it's possible that it's possible that our parents visited this thing. Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, things to do in Cape Town. Uh, <laughs> this must have been a thing a hundred years ago, fifty years ago. Some malkak. Okay, guys. So this is it for a little bit of an urban adventure. Um, I don't suggest to walk around here. Uh, we've seen quite a lot of movement in the grass, uh, snake-wise and whatever, so just be careful if you do come out here. But yeah, uh, this was something nice for me. I've never 
done some exploring like this before, so it was nice just getting into something like this. But yes, did you know that there was a zoo of some sort on Table Mountain? I didn't know that, so I'm glad I could bring you with on this one, guys. If you've been here, please comment at the, at the bottom. If you know about this place, comment at the bottom. If this brings back some memories of you being here as a kid or whatever, let us know that you've been here um, and give us some more information. If you can send links or whatever at the bottom in the comments, that will be appreciated. Like and subscribe at the bottom, guys. Um, the next adventure is going to be hectic. I've already got that plan. Now we're going to start recording more. The weather is way better now, so I can actually record. So um, drop a like, drop a subscribe, uh, and we we'll see you on the next adventure. The next one is going to be one for the books. Thanks for joining me on this one, guys. Ciao, ciao.